Jim, Ricky here. We'll be over later. Levi's gonna bring his camera and take some video of you. Warm in here, huh? This is a place to be this time of year. So how long has Rough Cut been here? When Since you about 81, 82 uh -huh. maybe, 40 years. And how'd you get into it? Don't block. I worked for a logger three years from 79 till 80 or 81 and he went broke there was a depression actually a recession in the 80s first of the 80s inflation was big time I don't even remember who was president but I was working the guy went bankrupt he owed me eight thousand dollars so he had a skitter I said, well, I know how to do that. I'll take that for, his, for the money. Here I am, still here. Still got a skidder. Oh, there's a sawmill. It takes a while, even after it's running, to get the oil, because it's run by a hydraulic motor. It takes a little while to get that, everything to work. Filing, that's a big deal. I was bringing the saw back from Vermont. It was some kind of chemical that was on the road. The saw was in the back of the truck and this line was here and that's been there 10 or 12 years. It was something on the road. There's another one here. These two lines have been on that saw oh, more than 12 years. I, I have no idea what they were. This is a Dexter filing guide. It was made, uh, one of the fellows that worked for Chase Company, Bruce Dexter designed and built this thing. This was a probably number 200 or something like off the assembly line. Here's simple views, you set it over the saw. You can adjust it for pitch and, and depth. So well, if you set it up to begin with on a new tooth, you're good to go through the whole process. And all you do is pull it against the tooth, give it your best shot. I just happen to be left-handed. When I do it on the right side, I have to kneel on that belt. I can get down. It takes a while to get back up. The, the files were designed for this saw or this this unit. So they got a round end on them and you can file from four sides. This file is good for doing four sides so you don't don't waste it. Let it warm up a while. 
but it doesn't work really in the winter. It's cold, makes a lot of noise. It's a good machine, but if you break it, you gotta fix it. I don't like fixing things in the cold. I'd rather just sit by the boot stove. It's not like we have to do this. spent some time in the service and came out and took a construction job because there was more money there. I worked out for 11 years, almost 12 years before I hurt myself bad enough to have to quit. Yeah, but the money was good. The motorhome hasn't been out of there since I owned it. I didn't like the traveling, but when I had a job offer after I recovered from back surgery, I said, I don't have to travel, only three miles. This is the job I want, driving a log truck of all things. <laughs> Work. First load, it took six hours to load it because I didn't know a damn thing. I was dumber than a rock. Six hours, it should take 20 minutes. But that two long trucks, that, the newest one doesn't even run. Uh, the better of the two. This is a 78 General. Been a good truck. It would probably start if I'd warm up the oil. Has 15 gallons of number 30 weight in it, so you know that's not going to start. It's uh, it's used around here. We do everything, all the putting all the logs on with that. We don't use a, a forklift or a loader. We do it all with the truck. We can go to the pile and pick out what we want. Works good that way. Now, as long as I can climb up the ladder and get back down, it'll probably last as long as I will. What's the uh, what's the most people you've had working here at one time? Six. Mm -hmm. That was in 95. 95, maybe 96. Did you like that or do you prefer? Uh, no. <laughs> we did a lot of work. I always, I had to be two hours after and two hours before. I was spending 20 hours here just so they could work eight or nine. We did almost a million feet of lumber one that year. And it was just too much. We're gonna make no money today. So I, 300 feet of lumber. It cost me $150. The lumber's worth 300 feet. $200. It all come back sooner or later. You know, once the snow goes away and the birds sing, everybody will want it. A new chicken house. Still working? Huh? Still working? Yeah.